At King's University College at Western University in London, Ontario, Canada, we are dedicated to the intellectual, social, spiritual, and global development of students. We envision outbound mobility as an opportunity for students to expand their horizons and form global connections that will benefit them personally and professionally. We share this vision with institutions across Canada. In 2019, the Government of Canada announced their commitment to support Canada's new international education strategy. The strategy includes funding allocations for an outbound student mobility pilot program and aims to increase the participation of underrepresented students in international learning opportunities, diversify the destination countries students choose to visit, and test innovative approaches to reduce barriers to study and work abroad. Prior to COVID-19, participation in outbound student mobility was slightly on the rise at Canadian universities, with approximately 3.2% of post-secondary students participating in study and work abroad. Our recent survey of over 400 King students yielded some interesting results. Less than one quarter of students reported that they had participated in an international outbound experience, yet over 90% said they would be interested in participating. How can we close this gap? There are many programs, services and wraparound supports available to students. Outbound international learning is more possible than many people think. Staff, faculty and administrators are out front in their support of students and international learning. Students are not alone. Together we will work with students to close the gap between their interest in outbound mobility and making that style of learning a reality. My comments address the benefits of study abroad and outline how the Academic Dean's Office at King's supports students through the planning process. While details may vary, it's likely your institution has a similar process in place. A term or a year of study abroad can provide significant benefits both personally and academically. Undertaking an international exchange can be a way of conveying that you are confident, have a spirit of adventure, and can rise to the challenges of travel and working outside your comfort zone. Study abroad provides a great opportunity to learn about other cultures, develop independence, and demonstrate your personal resourcefulness. Often you can acquire skills in another language and develop greater sensitivity around cultural norms and practices different from those you know. These life skills are increasingly important. Study abroad can also help set your CV apart and give you a distinct advantage in a highly competitive job search. Here's just one example. A family member of mine studied abroad in Korea for a year, he enjoyed the experience very much and made some great friends. Soon after he graduated, he applied for a job with Samsung and was successful. He was later informed that his year of living and studying in Korea, getting to know that culture firsthand, was an important consideration in the company's decision to hire him. Apart from the personal benefits, studying abroad provides an opportunity to take approved courses for credit toward your degree and often to include courses that are different from those offered by your home institution. Most institutions have a minimum academic standard for students to be eligible to go on an exchange. As a student abroad, you are an ambassador for Canada and your academic institution. At King's, most students apply in their second year to go on an exchange in their third year. We recommend that students arrange an appointment with an academic counselor to review their academic record and program plans. This helps us determine eligibility and identify what courses need to be completed at home and abroad. Students approved for an exchange then work with their home university, for King's, this is the international office, and their host university to submit a course proposal for courses to be completed on exchange. This plan can include principal courses, which count toward a module or program, and electives, courses outside the main subject area. At some universities, including Western, courses completed on exchange are recorded as pass-fail only. No numerical grade is recorded. Those credits count toward a Western degree, but are not included in the calculation of the student's average for progression or graduation. This is intended to reduce the risks that might be associated with study abroad, and to encourage more students to go on an exchange. We suggest that students inquire about the policy at their home institution. 
To summarize, the process is quite straightforward and the benefits can be extraordinary. To anyone interested in an exchange experience, I encourage you to gather information, contact an academic counselor to discuss your situation, and carefully consider the prospect of completing an international exchange during your time at university. At King's, we have over 60 partners and send students on exchange to a range of different countries, including Japan, Russia, the Netherlands, Switzerland, and Australia, just to name a few. We work to promote opportunities widely and ensure that all students have a fair chance to pursue an opportunity that best meets their goals and needs. Throughout the fall and beginning of the winter semester, we hold multiple information sessions and promote these widely in e-newsletters and on social media. We also arrange in-class presentations and hold information booths in the Student Life Centre in an effort to reach all students. As King's International and Exchange Student Advisor, I work with each student applying individually to ensure they have all the information they need and to ensure that their concerns are addressed. We use a holistic and empathetic approach in selecting students where we look at students' academic average in tandem with assessing the quality of their answers, how well their interests fit with their choice of host university, as well as any exceptional challenges they have faced getting to where they are. After being accepted, we work with each student and assist them with the course transfer process to help ensure they are able to receive King's credits for the courses they take abroad. We maintain strong working relationships with our partners across the world. The beauty of exchange truly is that even though we're in touch with so many coordinators from so many different countries, we all truly care about students' well-being and that they have a positive experience. It's so rewarding for me to see students through to their exchange and to meet with them after they arrive back to Canada to hear more about their experience. To me, their success is my success. Our philosophy is to find a place for all students who are eligible to go abroad and to provide them the best student support we can. Together with staff, faculty, and administration, we're working to enhance opportunities and bring down barriers so students from all backgrounds and walks of life will be able to consider exchange abroad or an outbound study opportunity. In a country like Canada that is so diverse, it's important for all students from all backgrounds to be able to immerse themselves in a unique opportunity to learn and live abroad in another culture and country. I'm grateful to be in a role where I can help make this possible. I chose to go to Erasmus University College because it's a smaller college campus connected to a larger university, which meant that it was similar to the size I was used to at King's. Being situated in the Netherlands was great too because it allowed me to travel to a lot of countries and explore Europe during my time there. The financial assistance that King's provides also helped me enjoy my time there because I was a lot less worried about my financial situation. The King's Exchange Office and both Linda and Anna were really helpful in providing me information while I was researching all the different options for countries and schools to find the right fit for me. They were really there every step of the way in organizing the exchange with the host institution as well. My exchange was great and it was backed by a learning experience with both a history and culture that I had never really been exposed to before. It's also a lot of fun to become immersed in the culture you're a part of. So for example, cycling is really common in the Netherlands and is a main mode of transportation. So I loved how convenient it was to get from place to place even without a car. Many people would even ride their bikes to go to a friend's or even for a night out. To anyone considering an exchange, I would really encourage you to do so. It can be a really valuable experience. Um, and even if you have any concerns about finances, timing, or anything else, I really suggest setting up a meeting with the King's Exchange Office to talk about your interests and goals. They really are there to help you and want to see students take part in this amazing program. In the second semester of my third year, I did an exchange to Toulouse Business School in France. Before starting my research, I already knew that I wanted to attend a school in Europe because there are so many different cultures, landscapes, and cities to explore. I started my research with the exchange information sessions and the international advisors are also available to meet one-on-one. -on -one. They helped me figure out which schools would be best to meet my course requirements and my own personal preferences. I would definitely recommend TBS for anyone studying BMOS because the course offerings are really similar to classes we have at King's. Plus it has great location and airport connectivity. Since applications are due in January, the year before exchange starts, I knew I would have ample time to work and save my money. 
I was also able to receive the International Exchange Bursary from King's, which is very easy to apply for and helped a lot with the cost. Before leaving, I met with Amna, one of the academic advisors, and coordinated with the head of my department to choose my classes. They required that we had our course list approved even before leaving to ensure that you'll be on track for graduation. If you're looking to go on exchange for a second semester, I would encourage you to look at your partner university's course book in the summer before picking your King's courses. If you do this ahead of time, you can organize your classes to meet your module requirements. I ended up taking six classes abroad, which transferred back to five courses at King's. The workload abroad was similar, if not lighter, which enabled me to travel, meet new people, and get the full experience. The best part about exchange was being able to travel to so many new and exciting places. One benefit to doing an exchange in Europe is that the cost of traveling is much cheaper than in Canada. You can find flights for $50 or trains for $15. This made it super affordable to do weekend excursions with my classmates. There are so many beautiful sights to see, history to learn about, and incredible food to try. I went to TBS without anyone else from King's, which made me a little nervous at first, but it was very easy to make friends. The school sets up events and group chats so that all the exchange students can get to know each other. They even pair you up with someone who lives in Toulouse to show you around and make you feel welcome. I was lucky enough to have an amazing partner who picked me up from the airport on the first day and brought me into her home to try French wine and cheese. The hospitality I experienced while at TBS was so comforting considering how far away from home I was. After one week of being there, I felt like I had 10 new best friends. Everyone on exchange is going through the same feelings of nervousness and excitement and it really helps to bring everyone closer together. I would highly, highly recommend participating in this program. It was by far the most amazing experience of my life. You get to meet new people, experience new cultures, travel the world, all while continuing your degree. Not only does it add value to your personal life, but it helps you to gain international experience that differentiates you from your class or to future employers. It shows that you're able to adapt in different situations and excel in new environments. I know it's kind of crazy to pick up your life and move halfway across the world. It takes a lot of tenacity and courage, and you might have doubts about living in a city you've never been to before with a different language where you know absolutely no one. But despite all these differences, you start to feel at home so quickly. You start to understand the transit system, pick up on a few foreign phrases, find your favorite restaurant or cafe, and the best place to watch the sunset. But most importantly, you make friends you feel like you've known forever. I feel so lucky to have lived in a city that was so hard to leave behind and to have made friends who made it almost impossible to say goodbye. I went to France feeling scared and alone but left full of love and amazing memories. I honestly couldn't recommend this experience enough. I really want to go to Notre Dame because I always wanted to go to Australia and go there and meet people from different cultures all the way across the other side of the world. So something that I found very difficult while going on exchange was the financial side of things. And the reason for this was because I was on a student visa and most co companies didn't want to hire someone who's on a student visa due to the limited time I'd be there. So I wasn't generally worth the training. And then also due to COVID, there's some uncertainties in the air. But something that really helped on the financial side of things was the fact that Kings gave me um, an award to go, which was $1,000. I find it's definitely a value to go on exchange because it gives you an opportunity to live independently and learn some stuff not only about yourself but about others. If I was talking to a King student that was considering going on exchange, I would tell them just do it. You're only young once and you're going to make memories that are going to last a lifetime. Some tips I'd give to other students going on exchange would be first to go out of your comfort zone, be really social, talk to everyone you meet and really get to know them because you're going to get home one day and wish you did more and talk to more people. And then a second thing I would say is make sure that you're going to try to live in the present. You're going to want to miss your parents and your family and your friends, but just live in the present and be happy to be there because one day you're going to be home wishing you were back there. Finally, my last tip for students that are thinking about going to exchange is to travel before or after your exchange location. Before I got to Sydney, I traveled Asia and had the time of my life. While we send many students on outbound travel opportunities, we also welcome international students from our partner universities each year. 
These opportunities allow both King's and Partner University students to share their cultures and experience adventures abroad. At King's, we have a Peer Guide program. This program pairs new students, international students, and exchange students with upper-year King students who act as a guide and participate in many of our international events. King students can sign up to be a peer guide before going on exchange and be partner with the student from the intended partner university. Being a peer guide after doing an exchange is also a great opportunity to share insights with incoming exchange students. This is not only a great leadership opportunity, but also a chance to form lifelong relationships. In my third year, I was paired with an exchange student from Brazil, and we had the opportunity to meet again five years after her exchange. Lastly, participating in an exchange and signing up for the international student leadership positions qualify students to receive the global and intercultural engagement honor on their transcripts. We look forward to working with our students and helping them study abroad. There are several ways in which King supports students participating in outgoing trips related to their studies. For outgoing exchanges, King's has an international study award for full-time students to assist with travel or accommodation costs. This is $1,000 for a one-term exchange and $2,000 for a two-term exchange. Also, OSAP students can apply for assistance with living costs while they are on exchange. Lastly, students on exchange can apply for financial aid bursaries at their home university even while they are away. Students may also have an opportunity to participate in experiential learning trips that are part of a specific class. For these trips, King's has an International Experiential Learning Award to assist all students participating in a learning trip associated with the King's course. This award offers $1,000 for full-time students and $500 for part-time students. In addition to this, students in financial need can apply for other bursaries and awards which have been created by donors who support students to travel as part of their education journeys. There is a substantial amount of funding offered to assist students with learning abroad. Our students are often surprised at the level of support offered by King's. King's makes it easy to gain international experience beyond the classroom through a number of opportunities. It's not just about traveling, studying, interning, volunteering, conducting research, or discovering new places and new people. It's about discovering yourself and growing as an individual. For those who require academic accommodations and accessibility services while abroad, we highly recommend beginning research and planning well in advance to ensure a successful international learning experience. Accommodation options and perceptions about people with disabilities will vary from country to country. Students with disabilities who are seeking academic accommodations while abroad have a responsibility to promptly notify academic staff and accessibility services at King's if they anticipate that they will require accommodation of any international learning opportunity during the school year. King's is committed to serve as a resource for students with disabilities while they research options and international learning experiences. Students I know who have done an exchange or faculty-led trip through King's have come back and told me that they had an amazing experience and that their accessibility needs did not hamper or hold them back in any which way. Students with disabilities will need to take a copy of their medical documentation outlining functional limitations and recommended accommodations. King's accessibility counselors are available to help with this. We encourage anyone wanting to explore the support services King's offers to connect with their accessibility counselor and international learning coordinator at King's today. Outbound mobility is possible at King's University College at Western University because of the excellent university partners we have from all over the world. Typically King's Vice Principal of Strategic Partnerships in collaboration with colleagues chooses to partner with international universities who share commonalities with King's. Partners may share a mission or similarities in academic course selection or faculty research interests. Collaborations may include student mobility, sharing of academic and cultural information, mobility between scholars and researchers, and creative teaching arrangements. So for example, King's partners with Malmo University in Sweden for two-way academic exchanges. Students studying childhood and social institutions at King's study at Malmo in Sweden and then, in turn, share classes with their Swedish peers at King's. King's International Office staff are dedicated to offering and promoting outbound mobility opportunities at King's, but they don't operate in isolation. Staff, faculty and administrators throughout offices and departments at King's offer opportunities and support for students wishing to study internationally. We're very proud of our faculty-led international learning opportunities at King's. They offer unique opportunities for students to take classroom learning outside of the traditional learning environment. King's has led faculty travel opportunities available through many academic disciplines. For example, social justice and peace studies 
offers courses in Rondone, Arezzo, and the Dominican Republic. Political science faculty members have recently taken students to Ethiopia and Ghana, and King's School of Management, Economics, and Math provides an opportunity for students to visit partner universities and industries in France and Spain. Just prior to COVID, philosophy and religious studies professors accompanied students on a learning experience in Rome, Italy, and King's history professors were prepared for an on-the-ground learning experience in France. Now, not all students are able to study on exchange for an academic semester or a year. Students can choose an international learning opportunity that meets their needs, and a faculty-led travel course or a summer internship may be the perfect match for their goals. They can select an opportunity with the confidence that staff, faculty, and administrators at King's will support them in their endeavor to bring an international experience to their learning. The world is truly our classroom.